Every time you use any device whatsoever, you're sending signals about your behavior that will be used in a model to predict what your credit rating could be, depending on who's buying that data. Okay, so what, so someone who's quite naive, uh, not very kind of uh, well versed in how to protect themselves online, what's happening <laughs> to the data that they're um, putting out on their social media? Um, it's being assessed for its value. For some people, if it's um, assessed as being high net worth individuals, it will be put up for auction and traded. For others, it will be profiled um, and possibly siloed into a, sorry, low net worth category um, where less interest will be uh, put in putting adverts on their browser mm -hmm. by advertisers who will be competing to buy particular um, data. How much do we know about the data broker industry? Oh, very, very little. They are beyond regulation. They refuse to appear before the US Senate or the Federal Commission. I'd say we know very, very little about them. Um, they are the real dark side of the net because they are the people who are compiling, assessing, classifying and trading your data. And for a new generation, if you are a child born now, they will be assessing your data right from the start. So they'll be building profiles on you. We have no idea how they're, do well, we know how they're doing it. We can find out how they're doing it, but we have no idea what you're being traded for, what your value is, the literal economic transaction we do not know. So they are, I would say they are the most powerful forms of classification that we now experience socially. And who do they sell this information to? Well, they sell it to each other. They will sell it to banks. They will sell it to other data companies. So um, say Experion, in our research, we found a lot of Experion and Axiom on Facebook. So they will be selling the data to Facebook. Facebook will be selling data to them as well. So there's a lot of trade as they're all trying to work out who are the high worth individuals that they can sell on to either banks or advertisers. So there's, it's a lot of trade going on in milliseconds. So what, how, how is uh, my activity online going to affect my credit rating score? How do they make those decisions? Is it who I'm speaking to? Is it what I'm posting? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely everything. So it will be your, your behaviour, which they will use. Your previous behaviour will be used to predict what they think you will do in the future. Um, they will collate that with lots of other financial data, but lots of other social data. So your value will be assessed not just in terms of what you do, what you buy, but also in terms of what your friends do and what your friends buy. So it's your social network that now becomes increasingly important in working out who you are, but also what's your potential in the future. Is that going to change the way that we police ourselves online? Um, I don't know whether it will change how people police themselves because it's very, 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 very difficult to do. You know, there's research that suggests it would take a whole year. If you read the privacy policies of every app you use and you'd need legal knowledge actually to understand it mm -hmm. and the fact they change it constantly, it would be very, very difficult to police yourself really difficult. So you would need proper computer software engineers to police the companies. So is there any way that we can protect ourselves from this kind of data capture? I Very little, but <laughs> I think we've tried to do all sorts of things. Uh, so, you know, there was a, a policy of obfuscation where people send out the wrong signal. So, you know, instead of just being who they are, they pretend they're something completely different. Very difficult to do. People like Facebook have real name policies. So if you start mm. behaving as you are not, they will close you down, which they have done with quite a few people. Very, very difficult to actually control it yourself because it's all done through data signals, not through you literally controlling it. Have you got any kind of comments about the fact that these companies have such an amount of uh, capability to, to, to make all these decisions about us, while perhaps we're yeah. now knowing less and less about these companies than perhaps before? I think it, it's phenomenal. I think it's probably the most important political situation 
we face in terms of how we live our everyday lives because they are beyond accountability. It's really difficult to call them to account. Even when the US Senate called the data brokers to a committee, US Senate, they didn't bother turning up. So, you know, they are usually completely beyond regulation and they are completely not accountable whilst every single action we do is held to account and used by them. So for me that's the, that's the, the really important politics of now is accountability and regulation.